Hey, this is Giovanni from the Record Shop Recording Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. We're here with another installment of our For the Record video series, produced in conjunction with our video production partners at High Def Imaging. Today we're going to discuss how to beef up the sound of your kick drum through using an oscillator and a gate. It's a pretty cool trick that we use on a regular basis with a wide variety of projects and um, can really help you enhance the sound of um, your, your drum tracks. Uh, so let's take a look at how we do that. So this track we have pulled up here is a song called Keep Me Up by a Nashville blues artist named Tyrone Carricker. Uh, if you guys get a chance to check out his tracks. We're going to start by showing you how the drum tracks sound uh, raw and then I'll show you the process that we go through to uh, supplement the kick drum to add the sub bass. Uh, so here is the uh, raw drum track. You can hear that the kick drum's got some punch to it. Uh, pretty nice snap, it cuts through the mix. Um, but we want it to hit the speakers a little harder. So we're gonna go through this process here to uh, beef up the low end. Uh, the first thing that we do is put an aux end on the kick drum track. Uh, right now we have it set up to bus three. We set this to a pre-fader aux, so regardless of the change in the level of the kick drum, the level to the send will stay the same, uh, which is important in setting the settings on the gate. Uh, the next thing that we do is open up a oscillator. And uh, if you got uh, speakers on or a sub on your um, listening device, you'll be able to hear a 40 hertz tone cutting through. If you're listening on a computer, you may not be able to hear this, but um, you can see the level up here. And we set this oscillator to just run a straight frequency at 40 hertz. And uh, it's set to negative 3 dB just to make sure that we're not clipping. Uh, the next thing that we do is pull up a gate and we set the side chain of the gate to the same uh, send that we're sending from the kick drum track, which is bus three. And the next thing that we do is pull up the threshold um, pretty high up here to cut off um, the sound of the oscillator. And then we press play and we will run it through the track. So now you can hear that every time that the kick drum hits, this gate opens up. And as you can see here, the sub bass is cutting through. And here's the sound of the sub bass just by itself. Which again, we're able to hear without the kick drum soloed because the aux end is set to pre-fader. So the next thing that we want to adjust is the attack and the release. Um, and this is kind of dependent upon the track and how open you want the, the sub bass to kick through, how much space it can take up, uh, as well as the attack of the kick drum. Um, which will determine the, the sound of uh, the frequency that's coming through. So if you set the attack really fast, you can hear a click that happens uh, as the gate's opening up. So we want to pull that back to make sure that we have a smooth attack coming through on the 40 hertz frequency. And you can see as I pull it back, it takes that attack out a little bit. Um, sometimes that can be beneficial. This kick drum has more than enough uh, bite to it on the top end, so we want to just get the warmth of that low end coming through. Now once we have the attack set, uh, we look at the release. Um, if the release is set really fast, you're going to hear that, that buzzing. It's really not opening up enough for the frequency to cut through. Um, and as we begin to pull it up, you'll hear it hold a little bit longer. Um, and depending upon the tempo of the track, this can be raised up quite a bit. If you want more of an 808 uh, type sound that has some sustain to it. Um, in this track, it's a pretty tight groove rock deal, so we're going to just set it here at like a medium level. And now as we bring the kick drum back in, you can hear how that supports the bottom end. And I'll mute the oscillator here. Nice normal good sounding kick, but when we drop the 40 hertz tone in there, it really fattens it up. And here's the drums together now. So that concludes this segment of For the Record, where we taught you how to beef up the sound of your kick drum through the use of an oscillator and a gate. Try it out on your tracks, experiment with different settings, and I'm sure you'll find some pretty cool results. Uh, be sure to check us out at therecordshopnashville.com, 
and highdefimaging.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, all your social networks. Keep up with us and give us some feedback. Let us know how this process worked for you. And if you got any questions, give us a shot. We'd be happy to help you. Check back soon for another installment of For the Record.